If you don't like spooky medieval legends but still love a good mystery, then stick around. Because what if I told you leprosy was never divine punishment, just bad luck and even worse science? Let's set the record straight. Back in the Middle Ages, catching leprosy was like getting a one-way ticket to being shunned. People thought it was God's wrath, like you'd sinned big time, or maybe swap places with a fairy changeling. Monks wrote scary stuff. Audric Vitalis claimed lepers were marked by sin. But here's the shocker, it's just bacteria, Mycobacterium leprae. No fairy tales, just germs. Fast forward to today, leprosy is totally treatable and no one's getting banished for it. Yet stigma still lingers, why? It's not heaven's curse, but human ignorance that did the real damage. So was leprosy a punishment from above, or just bad science and worse PR? Next time you hear leper, remember, it's a story of misunderstanding, not a mark of the damned. History buffs, what do you think? Fact or fiction?